This time it only ran for a few seconds before the measurements froze and stopped operating. Uh, as you can see, the measurements are not working. Traces are live. The scope is running, triggered. It's not stopped. And the only way that I've found to get the measurements working again is to cycle the power. So I'll do that right now. This measurement thing is really frustrating because uh, I need the measurements, wouldn't you? If you were actually doing real work with the scope, of course you would. So there you can see that the measurements are running now. and. Uh, I figured out that if I use the difference setting on the statistics, it uh, takes current average, standard deviation, and the count, sample count. So by watching the sample count, we can tell how long it takes before the measurements stop working. I've had it take uh, eight minutes, but the last time, just a few minutes ago, it stopped working in just a few seconds. The count was only, I don't know, 30 or so. So let's just watch for a while and see what happens. And I'm not touching the controls when this freezing of the measurements happens. It just does it spontaneously for no apparent reason. So I'm not going to bore you with having to watch the whole thing. I'm going to turn the camera off now and I'll start the camera again when and if the measurements stop. Okay, the scope just stopped uh, up updating the memory, or the measurements rather, and the count was, was 3,063 and it counts about three or four times per second. So that'll give you an idea of how long it's been uh, running before the measurements stopped. Uh, how long would that be? Let's see. Say if it does three counts per second, 3,000 counts, that's about a thousand seconds which is around 15 minutes, I think, isn't it? Uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 16, 16 minutes. Something like that. Uh, before the measurements stop updating. So, let's reboot again.
see where measurements are live and it's counting. Yeah, I think it's about three counts per second. So once again, I'll turn the camera off while we wait for it to stop. And there it is. This time it only went to 897 counts before it stopped. And I, did, I haven't touched anything. The measurements just stop. Stop running. The scope still, still is running. You can see that the traces are live. You can see that if I unplug one of the input traces, that's not reflected in the measurements. The measurements are just stuck. And if I go to, uh, let's see, measure, clear, all items delete, and then all items recover, you can see that it comes back up with stars there, because it's not counting. It's not, the measurements are not running. So I have to reboot. And this is the new scope that Rigol sent me. Supposedly new. Kind of suspicious about the box it came in since the box had been sent to Arkansas and then back from Arkansas to Rigol and then from Rigol to me. It still had the three shipping labels on it. Okay, now the measurements are running, you see? So once again, I'll turn the camera off, and uh, when and if it stops, we'll see what the, what the counts, what the counts are. It's about three per second. Three counts per second. Okay, stand by. And boom, there it goes. It stopped at uh, 1061, 1K61 samples. No more updates. So at some random time, the measurements simply stop. Want to do it again? Power off. Power back on. And I'm not touching the controls at all during all of this. It's just just running. And yes, it stops even if I'm not showing statistics and just showing some regular, just one line of measurements. Uh, it'll, it'll still stop anyhow. I'm just showing the statistics because it's a convenient way of seeing how long it takes between uh, stoppages. So here we're running. You can see that the counts are rolling and the values are changing a little bit just from random noise and fluctuations. All that's normal and expected. Very good. So I'll turn the camera off now. I'm not touching any controls on the scope, and uh, when it stops again, 
I'll start the camera and we'll see what the count is. And there it is stopped at uh, 3,674 counts. So that's, what, about 18 minutes or so, something like that, if it's three counts per second. Oh, man. This is ridiculous. It just stops. Measurements stop working at random times. Okay, I could keep doing this, but I think I've shown the behavior, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this video and process it and upload it so that the Rigol people can see what's going on. Thanks for watching.